Hey everybody, Scott Wilkinson here at Cedia Expo 2013. I'm in the PSB and NAD booth speaking with Paul Barton, the P and the B of PSB. And Paul, you got some new stuff at the show here, don't you? Yeah, we have some uh, new products in all the categories. Uh, personal Hi-Fi, we have some new headphones, uh, some new earbuds, and we're launching uh, new in-ceiling, in-wall platforms. I get an awful lot of questions about in-ceiling and in-wall speakers. People don't want to see those speakers. No, and what we've done is we've made a series of, of four models that allow for across the front uh, installations, so they're hidden and the, the drivers face down. Uh, all of the driver platform is based on our Imagine series of products using this clay-filled polypropylene and uh, the same tweeter basic, pla basic tweeter platform but done in a way, and they're all closed back. They have the back boxes on them. Ah, that's very good. And the grills are uh, attached magnetically so that they're easy to install and uh, also uh, very attractive because they take, they draw a little attention to themselves. Right, and the back box is very important uh, in order to control the acoustics. Well, that and also to isolate it from going into other parts of the home. Ah, very good. It, it does help to reduce the bleed into other rooms. Right. Okay, so then uh, what's new in headphones? Well, we've just introduced uh, uh, an NAD Viso headphone called the HP50, and it's available in three colors, red, white, and black. And it has some of the features that are built into uh, the PSB uh, headphone platforms. Uh, jacks on both sides for convenience, say, when you're traveling. Um, uh, very comfortable, lightweight, and uh, the driver platform is very much based on the work done on the M4U1 and M4U2, which we re released in the in the past. Right. NAD uh, has um, another model in ear which we've uh, helped develop, mm -hmm. and it's called the HP20, and it's kind of a, a nice piece of jewelry at the same time, and it's built uh, using uh, aircraft uh, aluminum. And it's all um, a multi-axis CNC built. Each one is individually made. Wow. And uh, so that's, that's the, the first venue we've had in making uh, in -ears. an in-ear loud. Uh, what are the uh, cost of the in-ears and the Viso on-ears or over-ears? Uh, I know I'm not sure what the current cost is, but we can certainly we'll uh, figure that out. Figure that out. The, these uh, custom sound in-walls are uh, looks like 800 bucks. Per, yeah. A piece, yeah. seven ninety nine. Yeah. There's four models. The WLCR is, uh, as you can see here, seven hundred or eight hundred dollars. Yeah. There's another model which is uh, in across the front in ceiling, the same cost, mm -hmm. eight hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. And then we have a, a, a dual mode surround, which means you can actually just have two in ceiling surrounds, but you can configure it in such a way that both of the side and the rear channels go to that one box. So it, it, you could do 7.1. You could do 7.1 with only five speakers in the room. Ah, five, okay. Five. Oh, locations. that's cool. Well, it's it's a strategy we've used in our other uh, uh, standard uh, surround products. The uh, Imagine Surround and the Synchrony Surround have that feature built in. I got gotcha. you. Well. Okay. Yeah. So we've just included it in our in ceiling. And then finally, from PSB, uh, you've got a new micro subwoofer. Oh, that's correct. Uh, it's in the background. Uh, as we'll, we'll take another picture of yeah. it and show people a close-up. Yeah. And uh, it's a, it sort of rounds out our offering of our first computer speaker called the Alpha PS1. And this subwoofer uh, is called the Sub 100. And uh, it sort of rounds it out. It's a very miniature compact sub. It has a five and a quarter inch woofer in it. <laughs> uh, and is a sealed box. So uh, in, a, in a form factor of that size, it's quite a tidy package. And what, what is its low frequency extension? Well, it's pretty much flat down to about 30 hertz. Well, that's pretty good yeah. for a five and a quarter inch driver. That's right. Well, it's in a very tiny box. Yeah, yeah. And what's the price point on that? Uh, it's uh, 245 or 250 mm -hmm. retail. Meant to go with the Alpha. Meant to go. So the PS1 system would cost you 550 for a 2.1 computer for system. For a 2.1 computer system. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for talking with us. Oh, you're very welcome. Also in the NAD PSB booth is the NAD Master Series Digital Suite uh, separate components, which Greg Stinson's going to tell us about. Yeah, thanks, Scott. Uh, the Master Series Digital Suite is uh, really the culmination of a, of a project that we started several years ago uh, where we wanted to make a completely digital, high-resolution system that maintained the 
uh, the master tape uh, or master uh, recording mm -hmm. of the studio, the full uh, capability of that, and deliver it into the living room. Uh, up until now, uh, that's always been done using a computer file on a computer, uh, but computers are not very friendly to music. Uh, music is way down on the list of what gets considered in a computer. Right, when it's designed. generally speaking. Generally speaking. So we have a completely custom hardware and software platform here that uh, every decision that we made at every stage was to make it sound as good as possible. And uh, so this is a computerless system that maintains the full uh, resolution of 24192 files. Fantastic. And you can control it, I see, from an iPad or some sort of tablet? Yeah, there's actually, uh, it can be controlled in a couple of different ways. Uh, it really is comprised of three components. There's the M50, which is the control unit. That unit also has a CD uh, transport uh, capability. So another aspect of this is that if you connect it to our uh, RAID array hard drive here, uh, you can actually rip your CDs uh, into the hard drive and then control them uh, with the app. Got it. You can also play it as a normal CD transport. If you don't have the M52 uh, RAID array, you can just use it as a transport. Sure. You can also use uh, storage on the network, network attached storage. So the M50 is both wireless and wired. It, it uh, works on your network. It also goes out to the internet, so that's part of the CD ripping. Uh, we also can download high resolution audio files. Uh, right now we, uh, we can do that directly from hi res audio and based in Germany. So you can buy or purchase uh, hi res audio files from them uh, on your uh, tablet and when they download, they'll download directly into the master series suite. Fantastic. So it's completely computer free. What is the uh, pricing on these? Uh, the M50 is $2,500. Uh, the RAID array, which is uh, a three terabyte uh, system that has about two terabytes of storage, right. is uh, 1999 And uh, we have it connected to our pure digital M2 amplifier, which is 250 watts a channel, uh, and that's uh, 5995 Now, I also understand that the uh, Master Series has this uh, blue wireless technology, and this is a new thing for NAD, and we're only going to give people a quick little sneak peek at it. Well, the software platform uh, is was developed in completely in-house. We looked at doing Delana, AirPlay, those types of things, and all of them have some issues um, uh, for music lovers. So this is a system that we can do uh, gapless playback, we can do high resolution, we can attach it into multiple rooms. Uh, and that's one of the keys there. It's a multi-room multi distribution, distribution system, wireless. Capability. Yeah. So, uh, and we have a, a new brand from Lenbrook called Blue Sound, uh, which are lower price modules that will allow you to uh, take the, uh, the M50 and, trans and send the music around your home. And that uh, new brand, Blue Sound, which is only now being sort of we're sneak peek. Yeah, we're not really on the market we're yet. We're giving people here a special we little. We started here with Master Series. Yeah, yeah. So that's, it's a similar technology. The, uh, certainly the software is uh, pretty interchangeable. There are some features on this software that are a little more oriented to the audio file. Sure, of so. course. Great, well thanks so much. You're very welcome, thank you.